Tiger TV fans, one of the great advantages or disadvantages it might be of uh, playing footy at Glenelg is that we're so close to the beach here, which means after every game we end up down here for a recovery session first thing in the morning. Today I'll just take the camera around, we'll have a chat to a couple of the players, maybe meet some of the pets of some of the boys and uh, say hello after our victory again. Tiger TV, mate. Recovery. Scott is old man to apologise for calling him Clint yesterday, yeah. right now. This is it. Yeah, I just heard him then. <laughs> I heard said blokes would have been bloody happy with that. We're here with our four goal hero from yesterday, Willie Rioli. Willie, welcome to Tiger TV. Thank you. Yeah, you're good to be here. Now, 18 months in, uh, in Adelaide now. The other day you said you're enjoying yourself. Um, tell us a little bit about it, what do you do during the day? and. Uh, no, I'm, I'm casual worker, doing okay. removalist. Yep. Um, and yeah, just playing footy, mate. And who'd you, who'd you play with back home? Uh, the Timmy Bombers. Right, and your dad, is he the...? Uh, he was the coach. He was the coach. He's still making your mind right now. So. Okay, what do you mean, mate? Oh, okay, for the next yeah, season. Because you, you guys yeah. don't play in the winter, do you? No, we play our wet season up there. Right, so why don't you play during the winter? I'm not sure, eh? People take, like to play rugby as well and okay. other sports. So yep. I know, it's and always been in the wet, so. And mate, last year was your first year, obviously, and you showed flashes of your brilliance, but this year, a bit more consistent. Yeah. What do you put that down to? Oh, probably just fit, eh? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Covering yeah. the ground much better. Yeah. Yeah, no, fair enough. Well, yeah. it's been good fun playing with you and Terry and a few of the Indigenous lads have got up forward. Yeah. There's Terry there. Um, <laughs> so I uh, look forward to hopefully you hanging around for a few more years to come at Tigerland. Yeah, definitely. Thanks, Thank bud. We've met Sawford here, who's uh, obviously having a, a good start to the season with the Tigers. Sawf, uh, the differences, I guess, first of all, Port Adelaide last year, where you've got the AFL guys coming in week in, week out. And then, uh, and then back at Tigerland now, what, what do you sort of see as being the main differences? Oh man, not a massive amount of difference, both. Yeah, obviously young groups. It's, yeah, I've, I've loved it at the Tigers. Yep. Yeah, everyone's made me, made me very welcome and yeah, yep. good yeah, stuff. Perfect. And your personal form's been really good. I know the boys, obviously, early on the, in the off-season, the pre-season, I was always talked about how Sawford had 42 and kicked four and whatever else, and I guess and after a couple of good performances at, uh, at Glider Off Stadium, the boys have started raising a bit and calling it uh, Sawford Stadium. Uh, how does that sit with you? Did you? Can you see the Oval perhaps renaming it? <laughs> nah, I wouldn't have thought. I don't, yeah, it doesn't sit too well with me at all. It's a bit of a stitch up, but yeah, <laughs> hopefully we can get a couple more wins on the board and yeah, it should be right. And um, and obviously your own form, I mean, you've you sort of been playing sort of forward and on board. Any preferences, you know, just sort of, you know, you obviously sneak forward and you've kicked a few goals. Um, yeah, has it always been something you've been able to do? Um, yeah, it's been good to get on the scoreboard a bit. It's probably not saying that comes as natural. Oh, just caught one there. Um, I think, yeah, I'm a bit more probably of a midfielder, but yeah, it's been good. With the obviously 60 rotations, you've got to learn to play a few positions and yeah, getting forward's been good. And uh, as far as, you know, teammates, I guess, you know, you would have had perceptions of, of people at, uh, at Port Adelaide, you know, who's someone on the training track that sort of impressed you or didn't quite, didn't quite match the expectations of what you had of them beforehand? Um, well, yeah, coming from the external, yeah, you knew Matty Snook was a gun and the way he trains and prepares is, yeah, pretty elite. Same with Andrew Bradley. Is, no, I'm loving it, absolutely loving it. All right, Saul, thanks so much. No, no worries, mate. See ya.